Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video and with the release of Fast 10, I'm going to be ranking all Fast and Furious movies from worst to best. Now let's get right into it. Now at number 10 we have Fast and Furious, the fourth installment in the franchise. This one is my least favorite because there wasn't really anything much going on in this movie. And to be honest, I thought it was the slowest movie out of all of them. Now, let me remind you, I've only seen this movie once, so I really don't remember anything from this movie. Like from what I remember anyway, I feel like there wasn't that much action. I feel like there was a lot of like, there was a lot of drama in this one, I feel, from what I remember anyway, but yeah. Now, at number nine, we have too fast, too furious with Paul Walker and Tyrese Gibson. Now it's really cool to see these characters together and meet for the first time. And that's probably like the best part of this movie, just the seeing the characters together. You know, the plot, I mean, not that memorable. I don't, I don't, I didn't really connect with it. And, but yeah, characters, awesome. Now, number eight, we have Tokyo Drift. Now this movie had all new characters, but the only returning character in this movie is Han. But even if they were all new characters, it was still somewhat entertaining to watch. Now at number seven, it's F9. Now I could have put this movie way lower just because of how stupid it is, but I'm giving this a pass because I love all the characters and the majority of the characters are all in this movie. So yeah, entertaining to watch just for the characters. Now at number six, we have The Fast and the Furious, the very first movie in the franchise. It's always amazing to go back to this first movie just to see how simple everything was. You know, th there was no over the top action sequences. I mean, there was some over the top stuff, but not as much as, you know, F9, for example. But yeah, it's great to see all of our favorite characters in their prime, their beginnings, how they met and stuff. And I also thought the heist plot was pretty cool. Now at number five, we have Fast 10, the latest movie in the franchise. This movie just came out, but it was just entertaining from start to finish like that's that's all i asked for from these fast and furious movies it's basically like the infinity war of the fast and furious now at number four we have furious seven in this movie you just got an amazing villain in jason statham oh my god he's awesome this one's directed by james wan if i remember correctly um there was a few problems i had with the action sequences but i really love this movie because come on the ending the ending is just beautiful a beautiful tribute to Paul Walker, the song See You Again, and the fact that they were able to find a clever way to keep his character alive in the franchise rather than killing him off like other movies do. At number three, we have Fate of the Furious. To be honest, I didn't really love Charlize Theron as a villain that much. Like, I thought she was okay, but what I really love about this movie is how Dom turns rogue. Like, like that was such a new and entertaining concept for this franchise. Now, number two, we have Fast Five, the movie that really changed everything that made me actually love this franchise way more than before. It was not only a good Fast and Furious movie, but it was actually just a good action movie. Now, at number one, my favorite Fast and Furious movie is Fast and Furious 6. Now, to me, Fast Five and Fast and Furious 6 are very like neck and neck for me, but what gives Fast and Furious 6 for me the the edge is that it has Deckard Shaw played by um, Luke Evans. <laughs> but yeah, compared to Fast Five, the villain, that one, he wasn't really like doing much in the field. He was just like, you know, in his office, kind of like talking about money and stuff. But yeah, Fast and Furious 6 takes everything that we loved in Fast Five, but as an awesome villain that actually gets in there, gets his hands dirty, and like actually does things to our team, to our family. So yeah, that's my ranking of all the Fast and Furious movies from worst to best. So what is your ranking for the Fast and Furious movies? Let me know in the comments, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.